I was getting all ready, pulling up overhead imagery, looking at satellite imagery, figure out where to go, set up grid patterns, gonna find these stupid things. And a piece of humid fell into my lap. My brother's daughter, Mandy, stepped by. Turns out, I didn't even have to break out enhanced interrogation techniques on her. No waterboarding, uh, no thumb screws, none of that stuff. She spilled the beans right away. She told me that the, over here is where my brother finds all of his black morels. And over there is where all of his yellow morels. Two days ago he picked a bunch of black morels out of here, so I may not find a lot, but he hasn't gone for his yellow morel patch yet. If I don't find anything here, I'm gonna go and steal his yellow morels before he gets a chance to find them, eat them all up. Apparently this is the area I rather found all of his black morels two days ago, 80 to 100 of them. So now it's my turn. The hunt is on. I haven't found anything yet, but additionally, his youngest son also caved, and his wife told me where to look for the yellow morels. So I'll spend another 15, 20 minutes looking over here for these black ones. And we're going after the yellow ones. Finally found one. Look at that little guy. <laughs> we find one, look from oh, there's another one. Here's another one. So there's at least three I found. I can see from here. Right there is one of them. Over there is another one. So there's those two. And there's another one over there. Oop, the, oh, there's another one right at the end of that log over there. Two of them, actually. So I'm already up to six and haven't even moved. Oh, found another seven, eight. Over here, there's two more. Game on. All right, so this is one little spot. Boy, well, start searching. Quite a few here. But this is a little area. And I found them all. To spot it over here. I'm stuck in the branch. Found those two. There's another one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight more, about ten foot in front of me. That's these two. Nice little pair right there. That one little spot. I ain't get them all. Got more to go. quite apparent I got a ways to go to find a lot more of these and I'm barely moving along so there's the up to the plastic wrapper in this potato bag that's just right here 20 feet 
20 feet by about five feet swath. Just a little stretch. Lots more to go. And some of these guys are hidden pretty well. So if you look right there, see it's hidden. Uh -huh. What a beauty. Yep, I think the patch is back that away. I don't see any more coming this way. We've got a really big haul of black morels. Let's go see if I can't find where all those yellow morels are. Maybe get another big haul of yellows. So that's where I found a big patch of black morel patch. Alongside those May apples. Under fallen trees, nice moist soil, tall trees. Someone else is looking for the mushrooms this time. <laughs> Got competition following me. Polar bear. And a peacock. They're all waiting for me to find them. I'm gonna eat them all from before I can pick them. I searched the area for the yellows. I don't have any luck, so maybe they come up a little bit later in the season. In other words, about a week from now. So, unofficial word coming back is that I found 96 black morels. That's a pretty good haul for about 30 minutes, I guess. But I'm not finding any yellows. I'll try again in a few days, next week maybe. Good hunting. I suppose I can ask my brother exactly where he goes to get his yellows. But if he doesn't tell me where he gets them, I do know roughly where I can post the uh, trail cams if I had some. Keep an eye on him when he comes out here looking for them. There's another option I can do on my brother. Use some enhanced interrogation techniques on him. That might spill the beans in. Don't know if he'd break though. It's kind of his favorite thing. He may not tell me where they're at.